What's up Pyro crew, Mike here. Today is all about wireless firing systems. We're going to have a look at the ones that I recommend, the ones I don't recommend, and the reasons behind it all. Just picture it. It's 2021. We're in the midst of a pandemic. Everything is shut down. It's the zombie apocalypse. Most people ran to Costco to pick up hand sanitizer and toilet paper. I, on the other hand, started planning my 4th of July show. That's totally normal. Anyways, so I went to the local fireworks store. I picked up like 800 bucks worth of fireworks. I came home and I was like, this is going to be the most epic fireworks show ever. It's going to have music. The fireworks are going to be timed perfectly to the beat. Well, my heart was in the right place. But can you guess what I was missing? A firing system. So I got this. So here it is. It's a wireless firing system from Billuskin. Billuskakin. I'm just going to call it the manual fire system because that's what it does. You push the buttons manually and it fires. It also comes with six of these RF radio frequency modules, and each of them takes four AA batteries. That's a lot of batteries. Especially if you're going to go with 1200 Qs, can you imagine how many batteries you'd have to be putting in these things? It's crazy. Now, if you're already using this system, you've already leveled up from hand lighting. Yippee! So there's that. But I want you to have epic shows. And the shows that I did with this system, not epic. I know it's cheap. It does work. I bought one myself. But let me save you some trouble here and some money. Don't buy this system if your intention is to level up. Okay, so there is a product out there which I don't recommend, but I do have to mention it just because it's an option, is the Crackle Cube. It allows you to use the RF modules that come with the manual fire system, but it replaces the remote control with a mobile app that allows you to script and automatically fire shows. It's a cool concept in theory, but honestly, guys, at the price point of $150 to $190, it's going to also increase your dependence on the manual fire system. Yeah, no. We're not doing that. So now that we know what we're not going to do, what should we do? That's a great question. I'm glad you asked. I talked to my wife about what I wanted to do. She's actually very supportive of my addiction. Hobby. Hobby. She actually says to me, why don't you just get the system you want instead of spending all this money on these systems that you know are not going to let you live up to your potential. What? For real? My wife just told me to get what I want. Does she know? It turns out she knows exactly how much it costs because I've talked about it a million times. She's just wise with money and she knows if you're going to be spending two or three hundred dollars on system one and then you're going to turn around and spend two, three hundred, eight hundred dollars on system two and then your goal is to get to thousand dollars two thousand dollar system she just knows that i'm gonna get there eventually and she's like well let's save some money in the long term let's just focus on getting there now well all right then cobra it is now cobra itself is a high-end system capable of firing extremely large shows but the way they've built the system is so modular that you can start small and work your way up as your needs change and progress you can get this 18R2 controller and this 18M firing module on Cobra's website right now for about $750. But on November 24th of 2023, you can get the 36Q module with the 18R2 controller and a free year of Cobra Show Creator for just $920. So that's under $1,000 for all of that. That's an incredible deal. I uh, highly recommend you take advantage of that. All right, that's the Cobra system. Now, if you just can't swing it and you can't wait, I know I'm impatient too. My next best recommendation is going to be the Ignite firing system. So what's the difference between Ignite and Cobra? Well, we don't have enough time to go over the particulars of each system, but what I can tell you is it boils down to three things. One is precision. Two is show size. And three is advanced features, such as DMX and other special effects. All right, so let's talk about precision. The manual fire system is only as precise as your fingers. 
The Ignite firing system has a one-tenth of a second firing resolution. What that means is when you press the button to fire, or the script does it for you, it's going to fire within one-tenth of a second. It's not too shabby. Now the Cobra system has one one-hundredth of a second timing resolution. Now the audience isn't going to really notice a difference between a tenth of a second and a hundredth of a second, but it does matter when you're looking to fire a series of effects, or a lot of effects at the same time. Another area where precision is important is your audio. If you're firing your show to music, you want the audio to be as precise as possible. The Ignite system uses your mobile device to play the audio. Depending on the device, you could get some variations in the audio timing. Making sure to always properly test the scenario can reduce some of that risk. Now the Cobra system can use SMPTE timecode, otherwise known as SMPT, to perfectly sync music to your show. Or you can use the audio box like I do. The audio box is a wireless standalone audio player that allows you to plug in your mp3 file and your 18r2 will communicate with the module just like it does the other firing modules and then you can play your audio in perfect synchronization all right guys so that wraps up the major points about precision now let's talk about show size so it really depends on what you're trying to do with your show if you want to just fire a thousand cakes you can use the manual fire system and cycle through the cues and channels manually as I mentioned earlier, you could use the Crackle system to automate and script a show with the manual fire system. But again, then you're spending an extra investment into the manual fire system when you could be putting that money towards something that's going to work better for your needs. And that's how you level up your fireworks shows. Now with the Ignite system, currently you're restricted to a six module maximum, and they have two different size modules. They have an 18Q module and a 36Q module. So if you got six 36 Q modules, you would have a total of 216 Qs. 216 Qs is a pretty respectable show. However, if you wanna expand beyond that, which is actually easy to do, then you may wanna consider starting with Cobra. The latest version of Cobra's 18R2 remote supports firing up to 3,600 Qs. In my book, that's virtually unlimited. But if you need more than this, Donnie Toms, then you're a pyro god. But in all seriousness, if you need more, you can just use multiple remotes. All right, so let's take a look at some of the more advanced features that you can look for in a firing system. None of these features are natively supported by the manual fire system and only one or two by the Ignite system. So if you have a need for any of these advanced features, at minimum, I would recommend starting with the Cobra system. Number one is DMX. If you're not familiar with the DMX protocol, it stands for Digital Multiplex. Put simply, it's just a standardized method for controlling lights and other fixtures, like flame projectors. Number two is signal repeating, otherwise known as mesh technology. All three of the systems mentioned in this video prefer line of sight, but a system with mesh technology allows that system to see around corners and other obstacles. As long as one of the modules has communication with the controller, and that module can see the other modules, they're all communicating together to form one network. And last, but certainly not least on this list of items is bi-directional communication. The manual RF style systems communicate from the remote to the module only, whereas the Ignite system and Cobra system have bi-directional communication. This means the module can communicate back to the controller important system information like continuity of the igniters, battery life, and other important information. Okay, stop. The video is not over, but I wanted to say something. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you for tuning in. My analytics tell me that a lot of you guys keep coming back, uh, watching the content I'm putting out. I sit here acting like I know what I'm talking about, and you guys are more than willing to listen. So, man, thank you so much. I, I really appreciate it. I am not employed, endorsed, nor paid by Cobra to sell or promote any of their products. I'm just a Cobra fanboy, and their products are amazing. I want to recommend them, and I want you to level up your fireworks shows and start with Cobra if you have no system or if you have some of the manual stuff. Skip the intermediate or go through the different pros and cons and just determine for yourself which system is best for you. I know I cracked a little fun at the Crackle Cube, but you may want to go that route, and uh, I'm not going to fault you for that. So if you get any value out of watching me sit here pretend like I know what I'm doing, and you want to see me pretend again, hit the subscribe button, the like button, you know the routine. 